If you are using Microsoft 365, Exchange Online will be one of the key applications that are used by your business users. And sooner or later, you will be asked to recover some lost data there. In this video, I would like to introduce you to the retention policies archiving model that is available in the Microsoft 365, possibility to restore the deleted data, how much time you will have to do that in case business users will request that and to be very fair, sooner or later, it will happen. Also in this video, I will show you how to use third party tools that could help you to restore that data using point in time recovery model as a full enterprise ready backup solution. Microsoft 365 does not offer such capabilities, but there are still some things that you can do to restore that data. And before we will move forward, I want to share with you that this video is brought to you thanks to the AFI AI backup vendor that is proud partner of my blog office365adwork.com and supports this series of the videos that will help to share the knowledge about the backup process of the data in the Microsoft 365 that works for enterprise. With AFI AI, I want to prepare you to be ready to work with the data recovery in the area of the Exchange Online mailboxes, which is to be very fair, very commonly used tool by the business users. Outlook and the mailboxes plus Microsoft Teams are the tools that are used on the daily basis by everyone who working on the Office 365 and sometimes people lost the data. And then you will need to know what to do, how to recover that data. Thankfully, there are the possibilities to do that, to do the retention data policies around Microsoft 365 to restore the data. And if this will be necessary to use third-party solution to restore the backup of the data from very specific point in time. But at the same time, why it's important to consider Exchange as a key system in the area of the Microsoft 365? Based on the statistics from AFI AI, almost 10% of whole data across Microsoft 365 is stored in the Exchange Online mailboxes. This is a lot. So you can imagine if you consider the whole volume of the data in the Microsoft 365, 10% of everything is in the exchange mailboxes. This is huge volume and till our, let's say, collaboration model, communication model internally and externally will change. Probably this is the way how it will look like. Moreover, in the average statistics, single user mailbox owns almost 6,000 emails. And this is some kind of average level. So you can expect there will be people that contain much, much more. These two statistics shows how heavily Outlook and Exchange Online is still used by the business users, is still used in our daily work, and probably it will not change soon. In the next step, I will show you how the deleted data could be recovered in the area of the Outlook application in the Exchange Online, how you can also turn on archiving model for specific mailboxes, what kind of solution could help you if you need something more. And if you like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get notifications about the new videos, please subscribe. And if you have any additional questions, do not hesitate, just leave the comments below. So at the very beginning, let's start from the perspective of retaining of the data when you're using Outlook application, how this is stored. Remember that left navigation in the Microsoft Outlook represent folder structure that is also held on your mailbox in the Exchange Online and all deleted elements landing in the deleted items folder. Remember that data will not be automatically removed from your mailbox, but if somebody will delete it, and this is some kind of first recycle bin that you can use in case of restoring the data. Of course, if somebody will delete the data 
from this place. So let's delete this element. Then you will be notified about permanent deletion of this data. It will land in this recovery items folder, which is not displayed, but allows you also to restore the data that is removed from deleted folder. Or if somebody will remove the mail from the mailbox using shift and delete buttons on the keyboard, then it will automatically land in the recover deleted items folder. Data here is stored for the 14 days. So if somebody will permanently remove the email from the mailbox, you have additional 14 days to restore it using this option. You can see it's not great solution, but still you have two levers of the recycle bin that allows you to restore the data for additional 14 days in case somebody will remove it. And remember, this is just the retention, so feature that allows you to restore the data that is removed from the very specific mailbox. And one more feature that could be sometimes useful, but again, this is not the backup solution, is possibility to do the archiving. If you will open Exchange Admin Center and go to Mailboxes, you will be able to find the mailbox and enable the archiving feature. Archiving feature is the possibility to, to move unnecessary data to online archive, not local archive, because remember, you can create local Outlook archive files, but if your local hard drive will be lost or broken, you will lose that data. This archive will be something available online so you can extend the capabilities, the storage you have for the additional archive storage, which could be limited or unlimited. By design, mailbox archive could be disabled, so you can open this option and right in here, you will be able to enable this feature for the user. And again, this is additional online archive for your emails, which will be online copy of some data that you want to archive. But again, it is not the backup solution. If you will turn it, you will also get the information. To make it work, this will require additional licenses. So at least Exchange Online Plan 2 or Exchange Online Archive license. Remember about it, it is not the feature available for the every subscription in the Microsoft 365. And these are the features that you can use by design to retain or to archive data for your mailbox. Sometimes it could be helpful to restore the data, but again, this is not the backup solution. So in case you will be asked to restore the data that was lost, deleted, or maybe encrypted on your environment, and it will be mailboxes or emails in the mailbox of Exchange Online, you will need something additional, third-party solution like AFI AI backup platform, which will allow you to restore the data from the previous states that are backup in the cloud environment. And why it's different? From perspective of the retention, you can restore the data that exists in deleted item folders or recovery folder, but you don't have the possibility to see the version of that data from the specific point in time. And this is quite important. If you will take in consideration how it works in the full backup solution, you can recover the data by choosing very specific date in time and reviewing the data which is here. In case of AFI AI, you can preview of all emails that are hosted in this specific mailbox in this specific point in time. And this is totally different approach but again, the only thing you need to do is to select the inbox or and download that data and recover it to the existing mailbox. This is totally different concept and thankfully AFI AI allows you to do that. You will see that requests from business to recover previous emails are very common. Naturally, if you were working the exchange on premise, having the backup platform that allows you to restore the data was something added by design to almost every environment. In case of cloud, you will also need some kind of third-party solution to add that kind of functionality. 
check the description of the video you will find there the feature that allows you to do that you don't have any limitation then in time you can get the version of the mail from very specific point in time and you can test it for free without any additional costs I hope, thank you this video, you will have better understanding about how deleted emails in the Exchange Online mailboxes are retained, how you can restore it if users will ask you, and of course how much time you have to do it. Again, if you want to test AFI AI backup solution, you will find more information in the description of this video. You can test it for free without any credit card sharing. and test if that kind of solution is required for your business users. Sometimes you need to support them in case they will remove that data. Maybe just some mailboxes requires from the legal perspective much more advanced retention policies for them. Use that solution to be sure that you will be able to do that. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.